Hello everybody, Rob here, and welcome to the next episode of us building our creek. So in this episode, we're going to work out the path system and the, um, uh, the little, um, fishing pier bridge thing. <laughs> uh, in this episode, I, or in between the last episode and this one, I was looking on BrickLink and I was looking at different little Lego sets and all that stuff. And I really couldn't come up with a really good idea for basically a little fishing dock pier thing. And then I came to the realization that I, most piers are basically just planks of wood, one after the other with some vertical suspend with some vertical support. So then I made this. Um, I also was like, well, what about a pathway or a walkway? And I noticed that a lot of people were utilizing these small round pieces here in three colors. We've got light gray, white, and dark gray. Or, well, dark bluish gray. Um, in little, like, almost like a, like a gravel. And uh, I really like that. So I kind of made up this little mock um, or uh, modification, so to speak, of a couple things. So the first one is, I'm going to control C this thing and control V it. So what it is, is it's basically just a four by, I think it's a four by 10, three, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. And I realized, well, I basically just went into, the, you're actually gonna love this. I went into the brown color and just went wood. Wood. And these popped up. So I looked at all the different versions and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's actually really easy. I'm like I could make a pier with this. They're four wide. Well, we can get a 10 by because we don't want it to go over the river too far, but we want it sitting back a little bit, right? So I came up with this little thing and then I was looking at some other builds that people have and they've been using this as a, you know, as a com almost like a cobblestone or gravel walkway and I really liked it. So I made up my own little fishing pier. Um, I used the little one by one grays here, or uh, sorry, browns to get like as if it was basically just a curved piece of lumber and just piled into the you know into the ground or whatever um it'll also be easier later on to make modified ones that are broken or you know haggard or even extend it make it tw twice the width or the length sorry and then we have a bridge going across the river so i was like you know what i like it this is what i'm gonna go with so what we're gonna do here is i'm just gonna remove all the pieces that it's connected to and you'll see why I do that in a few moments here I believe as of now it's disconnected from everything so what I can do now that I've designed it I can go by connected I can click it control C it control V it over here and now I can look a little bit more in depth and say okay I want to remove a lot of these filler pieces. Let's zoom in here. They were obviously used by me to connect it. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to just take basically one of these poles, copy paste it, and we're just going to place it over there for now. We're going to take this, copy it, paste it. And just highlight everything. Boom. Delete that. We're good to go. So now, comes the idea, where are we going to put this puppy? Well, it's four wide, which means we need at least a six spot area to do this. So if we got this, and I will give you guys a little tip. Highlight a part, turn it into a submodel, and we'll call it Dock. Okay, now what I can do is click this part and just move it anywhere I want to. So say for example, we... Wow, it's like going where I'm, where I'm holding it, isn't it? There we go. So say we put it here, 
like on this level here that I can't seem to get it to attach to. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's actually seeming to be a little harder than it should be. There we go. So say we decided to put it, uh, we'll say there for now. If we look, this thing is pretty much going across the entire river. Or stream. I don't like that. So I'm going to try and put it back a little bit. Now what we could do too is try to put it actually right across. And find a spot. Like right there, for example. And put it straight across the river. One of the things I like to do is put these in place right away. And then all we'll have to do later on is delete them. If one's in the way. There we go. So the question is, do we want to do something where it goes straight across the river and then has these that supports it at either end? Or do we want to do one that's completely done, right? Now, if I, for example, did it right here, that's across the creek already. That's pretty much good to go. My major issue is that it's sitting kind of high. So I wouldn't mind sitting it at least a couple more blocks high. So our 6x10 here, in my eyes, would have to be a lot longer than to 10. Or 4. So we can do a 4x12. That makes it about that long. Now if we put that, say, here, that now sits above the water as well. Which I actually don't mind that. So what I'm going to do, because I saved the other one over there, and I'm going to type in wood, have those sitting there. We're going to highlight this and say here. Wood. I'm going to try to place this. Oh. We can't place that there. It's got to go at least over one more. So it has to go there. Because for this itself to work, They have to be sitting on this section here. So there we go. We've got um, basically a, our, a wooden bridge set up. Um, I actually actually quite like that. It sits a little lower than I wanted to. Uh, we could change that up a little bit. One of the ways that we could do that actually... Oh, no. So I'm going to lift this just out of the way for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click all of these and say release all. So this is now going to allow me to edit all of these. What I'm actually going to do is click the top two parts of all of these guys and say, hey, do me a favor. And let me misclick all that. There we go. And we're going to lift all of that up temporarily. So I'm going to do... I'm actually going to just delete that for a second. I'm going to go with round brick. And look to see if we have any round plates. We have these. And that's it. But those are two... Oh my god, those are tree stumps. Those are perfect. I'm going to replace the tips of that with that. Um, yeah, that's too, too tall. 
if we did just one and we can't really yeah what I'm gonna do is a little bit of a cheat we're gonna go by a one by six plate we're just going to sneak this thing up a little bit. Make it look like a cross member. We're going to go until it to snap back on that. We're going to actually delete the top ones of the zills. We're going to actually do that. That's that's perfect. I never I didn't even know that piece existed. And then we're just going to tell the system here, hey, do me a favor and drop those down to there, please. And there we go. So now we're going to go back to wood. And what I want to do is I want to random these things completely. Now, I could do something like this, though, if I wanted to. Oh, wow, those don't line up at all. I thought these would actually line up. <laughs> wow. That's actually pretty bad. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to set this one up. Turn that that way. Pick this one. Sit there. Turn it that way. Oh, already picked that one. This one... This is the last one. There. So we now have our little creek bridge. Now, what you can also do too is swap out some of these and like give it little nubs here and there, but I don't mind having no nubs. That's that's no big deal. Some people would say, well, you know, you you need them to you know, it's it's only fair, so to speak, but I'm not too worried about it. Now, one of the things we do need to do though is fix this side of the river or the creek bed because we're actually off by quite a bit so i'm gonna go with the green plates we're gonna put a three by plate there and then we're gonna put a four there there we go then we're gonna do another four now, what you can do, too, is change this up. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. Later on, as the, we'll say, the tweaking gets done. Uh, change it out for, a, like, a brown one. When we start making our, uh, so maybe some walkways this way. But right now, the walkway is going to come down this way. Maybe we just have a little bit of walkway coming down on this side, down to the river, maybe. Or the creek, sorry, and kind of have it set up like that, like a, like a hole. Uh, we're also going to finish off our water in this episode because I want to finish that. The harsh part's actually things like that. on builds like this. I think, oh, there's that one. Now we're gonna go with the two for piece, the piece that's two wide. There we go. There's that one there that I missed. Well, I actually missed a few. Ah, I missed that one and I missed that one. And this one here is actually gonna be not too hard to do because we're basically just gonna give it a, um, like a black wall or something like that behind it just to kind of block it off just so we don't have to worry about seeing all that and we can delete that i also gotta figure out what to do with that too one of these days but that's the uh, that's that for now so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a render and then next monday uh we will go over what we've done so far and uh see what the next step is so thanks for watching everybody I will see you next week, Monday. Have a good night.
See you next week. Have a good weekend.